Okay, I want to show you something when you buy product from China. As you can see here, it's saying that this uh, lithium battery power pack contains a capacity of 16,000 milliamp hour. This is not possible for this size. I know ha um, a 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack, lithium battery, is twice as big as this. Okay, it's 10,000. This one is claiming to have 16,000 milliamp hour. So what we're gonna do is to prove this is incorrectly labeled. So when you buy something, I guess I bought, I don't, my brother actually gave me this one, he bought it from China, um, that you cannot trust the label. Okay, so you actually, you know, lithium battery, you know, the size and its um, capacity is proportional to the size. So if it's like, uh, this thick and twice as big, it's going to be about 10,000 to 12,000 milliamp hour. If it's going to be 16,000 milliamp hour, it's going to be two and a half times bigger than this one. Alright, so let's have a look at inside and see what's in here. Uh, we'll be able to tell whether it's actually 16,000 milliamp hour or not. And I can tell you right now, it is not. Let's do that right now. Okay, the problem with this battery that I'm going to try to open up, notice there's no screw. So so I would have to crack this open. I would have to waste this battery, but I do want to know what's inside. And I believe it is not what it claims to be, 16,000 milliamp hour. So I'm willing to sacrifice this for the sake of consumer uh, understanding of the labeling product, a misguided labeling uh, product, okay? So this is not a correct labeling. It's actually misinformation. So we're gonna open this up right now. Uh, we might have to pry it open. All right, so let's do that. There, there we go. Did probably open something. Okay. That's a good sign. If you hear click, that means it's opening. Let's try the other side now. There we go. We're gonna find out exactly what's in here. And that verifies it, I can tell right now. Mm. Ooh, there we go. As you can see here, how did the... This is very poorly... Oh, oh my goodness. You gotta be joking. Okay. Alright, it's not definitely not 16,000 milliamp hour. On top of that, this is not in soldered properly. On this side, it soldered. What? Oh my goodness, look at that. It's like, this is horrible. Okay, so let's assume, let me see, does it even say how much? Okay, I don't know what the capacity of this. Uh, lithium battery is, but I believe that it's between 1800 to 2400. Let's assume a 2000. So that's 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000. That's 8000. All right, 8000 milliamp hour. And the thing is, that's what I thought. You know, when I was trying it out, and um, you know, when I was charging it, I realized it, it doesn't, it doesn't charge really well. You know, it doesn't like charge my smartphone very well. And guess what? Look at how it's made. Look at this. Look, there's only one um, lithium battery hooked up to this battery pack system. I mean, this is not, this one is not even hooked up, and this one is not even hooked up. Look at that. What is going on here? This is horrible. So, what they had is just one battery this size hooked up to this here, and so you get only 
one fourth of the capacity and only 2,000 milliamp hour. I'm assuming the maximum this battery can hold is probably 2,400 milliamp hour. It's claiming 16,000. It's not even finished. Like it's it's done. It's not even done properly. I'm like I'm I'm just amazed at this. Wow, wow. It's just. <laughs> I mean, it's just laughable, isn't it? Look at that. I just can't believe I was made. I mean, they didn't finish it. You see that? They didn't continue on to hook up to this, you know? Uh, my goodness. And it's not even properly um, aligned properly. If it's parallel, it should be like this. You see? Not facing this way. This would have been, you know, not 3.7 volt, but it would be like 7.4. So you have to line it up like this, and this one hook up to this side. And the other one's hooked up to this side. And on vice versa, if you're going to put it here, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to hook up this side to here as well. But they didn't have, they didn't bother the, 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 you know, making an effort to continue to hook up these batteries. Right? So, yeah. Very, very bad. Ah. My goodness. So be careful what you buy. Open it up if you have a chance. You're taking a lot of risks if you're buying, uh, you know, a no-name brand and you know from a, another. Well, you know, hopefully, you know, I don't know what company this is, but you know, this is made in China, and you know, you can't always trust the label for sure. Yeah, and uh, it's not even finished soldering in. The rest of the four batteries. So this is an incomplete circuit. All right, you're buying an incomplete circuit. I I just can't believe it. I mean, I when I opened it up, I knew it was not going to be 16,000 milliamp hour. And you know, when I saw the four batteries, I said, okay, so it's half of it because it's 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. So it's 8,000. That's pretty reasonable, right? But then su surprise, surprise, they didn't even solder in properly. So it won't give you like 2,000 milliamp hour power so no wonder when I was charging my smartphone it died like within 20 minutes like the battery just drained out that's just ridiculous okay so I, I mean next time I think <laughs> when you buy something maybe just for fun buy it on eBay or you know one of those um, Chinese website and get one of these battery packs or something for like five six bucks open it up and see you'll be surprised you know I seen something on uh, YouTube videos and it turns out to be like a the police are blocking here. At least, but you know, at least this one actually has battery capacity here. Now I don't know whether this is actually a new battery, lithium battery, but at least it's four in here, which is still not too bad. You know, at least you can resolder this in. Now for you know consumer who doesn't know anything about lithium battery, like they probably think like it's junk. But you know, you open it up. Well, the circuit itself, the four battery, maybe worth it for you know you buy it. Maybe like it's probably worth four or five bucks. You know. Plus shipping and handling, uh, you know, maybe another three bucks. So maybe eight bucks this is worth. But, you know, at least, you know, you find out what's inside. Okay, before we go, well, let's finish it off with something even more horrible. I'm thinking that maybe these battery actually has capacity in there, right? I mean, after all, okay, so it's not, I'm telling, okay, so it's not solder in. So, okay, at least I could use this, right, you think? And then guess what? When I check, hmm, I check the voltage on these empty, unsoldered lithium battery. It's zero, zero, and zero. Okay. So I thought, okay, maybe you know, I just need to recharge it, like boost the charge. So I use this, um, uh, you know, lead acid battery, a little bit dangerous, six volt, and I'm gonna, you know, boost it by. Uh, connecting to the positive terminal to negative terminal for about a few seconds. This should bring it up, right? That's how you usually boost up, you know, uh, lithium battery or anything uh, you want to bring it up from zero to something. But be careful, try not to do this uh, for more than a few seconds and make sure that the battery capacity for these, uh, these lead acid battery is a small one, right? This is a, a 6 volt 4 amp, 4.5 amp hour, which is not so bad. And when you do touch it like this, Okay, um, just make sure that it's only for a few, like for example, a few seconds. I'm doing it like for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now don't do more than five seconds. I'm just because I'm used to this. That's why I'm able to take some risk. But normally, for a small like uh, lead acid battery, okay, do not use a car battery. You will definitely blow this up. Just use a tiny um, lead acid battery, six volt, four to four point five milliamp hour, and then you try to do this way to boost it up. And in theory, at least I, I did with all my all other battery that I had um, problem with and I was able to bring it up but guess what look at this you do not believe this and I couldn't believe it look at that still zero so this is a piece of junk whatever they put in here it looks like lithium battery it feels like lithium battery well apparently it's not it's a dead lithium battery or an impersonated lithium battery Let's try another one. Here's another one. Okay, here's another one. Just give them, you know, a chance. Maybe, maybe it's just that one, right? So here I go. Here we go again. So let's check. Positive, negative. There we go. One. Okay, just make sure that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that should boost it up a few, you know, give it a few volt, maybe like one or two volt, right? It should do that. If it doesn't do that, you know this is a lemon lithium battery did not actually a lithium battery there we go proves it there we go these are junk battery it's just there to hold weight so like I was saying before uh, this is even worse uh, imitator than I thought some you know some brand I mean not brand some uh, lithium battery no name brand made in China actually have a block this actually imitates a lithium battery so you think it's lithium battery but it is a piece of block metal block right so let's try this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that should boost it up test it not a cinch lynch binch nothing natal ditto nothing there we go do not buy it even for an experiment because these three battery is a piece of junk I will probably take it apart and see what's inside this and to prove that there is no lithium in here whatsoever oh my goodness this is just horrible first it's not even 16,000 milliamp hour second it's not even soldered properly third they imitate the lithium battery and then you have to find out that this is not a full capacity lithium battery battery in fact it's a piece of junk lithium battery it is an imitator it doesn't work it gives you zero voltage you boost it up it's still zero voltage great imitator though okay it's just out of curiosity I will actually open this up right now because I'm looking I'm comparing okay I'm comparing this battery that actually works which you know it's only 2000 milliamp hour here okay and I'm looking at the way inside here I can see that there's actually plastic inside here okay like inside the metal so it's like an empty vessel so let's open it up okay so I'm, it's just just I mean, this is just ridiculous I'm like this is can't be right you think how far will they go and like oh my goodness I can't believe they would go this far just to you know cheat the consumer this is ridiculous all right let's see what's in here all right I'm now so curious okay there we go that's what it looks like mm -hmm. yeah uh-huh It's a plastic. Okay, let's see what's in here. What's in here? I just want to care. I'm just curious. Okay, just curious. All right. Okay, I'm just curious. This is plastic in here. Let's have a look. Ooh.
they do? Oh my goodness. This is just, ow. Oh, oh boy. Let me just focus that in. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is sand. They put sand in the lithium battery. Oh goodness. I gotta show my wife this. Alright, I'll see you guys. Bye.